Okay, so today I'm gonna to take you through a newly completed custom home that Kalem Builders just finished. Now this home has just over 5,000 square feet of living space, a ton of gorgeous features all throughout, and Kim, the builder, is inside ready to give us a tour. So let's go find him. Um, we're here today at a one-of-a-kind custom home that uh, KLM designed and built. Uh, we were approached by an empty nester couple initially. Uh, they had some ideas of what they wanted in their home. As far as amount of rooms or amount of bedrooms, they wanted a multi-story house in this case, but they wanted main level living because they're, they're starting to get to the empty nester stage of life. The outside is relatively maintenance-free on this house. If you, if you look around, uh, the whole front facade, the side facades, a lot of those are brick and stone, so they're full masonry product, uh, which requires no maintenance in the future, very low maintenance. The rear of the house, we did a, uh, a siding material by James Hardy. It's a cement board siding, and that comes with a factory finish on it that's good for the first 15 or 20 years. Uh, and then all the soffits and fascia are aluminum. The gutters are aluminum, so there's no painting or maintenance there. Uh, we did a composite roof on this particular house. Now, years ago, cedar shakes were the, all the rage and everybody wanted a cedar shake roof. But with wood cedar comes a lot of issues, you know, splits, cracks, insect and bird infestation in the materials, uh, rot. Uh, so they're very expensive to maintain, very expensive to own, and very expensive to replace. So in this case, we went with a composite shingle that's lifetime, very little or no maintenance, and uh, should last uh, for the life of the home. Yeah, as you first walk into the home, uh, they wanted something very dramatic in the entryway. So we did a two-story foyer with a beautiful curved staircase with iron balusters. Uh, very popular today to have the uh, craftsman style posts and the iron balusters on the staircase. We did an arch theme also. There's several arches throughout the home. That was another criteria they wanted. Lots of natural light, huge windows, a uh, two-story great room you'll see. have a den or study or the home office with a bunch of built-in cabinetry and granite countertops. Uh, again, well lit, lots of glass. We did a nice coffered ceiling with uh, crown molding. And... We did a beautiful arched entry from the foyer into the two-story great room. We also have a two-story stone fireplace in the great room. It's kind of a unique fireplace because it's, uh, it's actually a heating appliance as well as a beautiful fire. Uh, you get a tremendous flame pattern in there, but it throws out a tremendous amount of heat. There's several different fan speeds. So that firebox will heat this whole two-story great room kitchen main level of the house. Uh, so it's a beautiful appliance as well as functional and practical. Now the flooring we did throughout the whole first floor is a solid three-quarter inch tongue and groove it's a hand scraped material it's an oak nice brown dark finish which is very uh, up-to-date look and uh, a wider plank you know in the old days you used to see a lot of two and a quarter inch strip flooring this has a five inch plank and it has the hand scraping so it's got a lot of character uh, we also did eight foot tall doors because of the 10 foot minimum ceilings and we did knotty alder doors in this case so uh, again, the, the doors will have a lot of character and they kind of go with the hand scraping of the floors. Absolutely. There's also a beautiful sunroom off of the family room. It's all glass on three sides. And uh, we did a brick accent wall, which is another feature they wanted in that home. Now this kitchen. A lot going on here. Tell us about this. They cook at home quite a bit, so we did uh, a lot of cabinetry in this case. We built in appliances. We have sub zero refrigerators. We did this nine or 10 foot island for them, uh, which is very popular today. Lots of cabinetry in the island, uh, double trash in the island, uh, dishwasher. Uh, and then we did an apron front Kohler sink as well, which is cast iron porcelain. It'll, it's a lifetime sink that'll last forever. We did a beautiful quartz. Quartz is a stone product like granite, but unlike granite, you never have to seal it. So this is uh, one called Arlaza. It has a natural veining. It looks like marble. 
but unlike natural marble, there's no ceiling, it's not soft, it's a lot more scratch resistant and much more stain resistant. So it's a, a great surface to use for countertops today. We also did a marble backsplash, you'll notice in here. That's a natural marble, multicolor, just adds a lot of character to the house. And, and we did a pot filler as well behind the cooktop. A lot of people will use those pot fillers if they're cooking pastas or without having to carry up a, a wet pot to and from the mm -hmm. kitchen sink. So those are a popular amenity. I like this contrasting range hood here. You got a nice custom Yeah, we look. did two different colors. Uh, we did the perimeter in a, in a soft white finish, and then the island is done in a stain, a separate stain finish, a brown stain that kind of ties the floors in with the, with the uh, theme. And then we picked that same stain up in the hood, and we did a stain match on a custom hood for them. And it's a furniture style hood that vents to the outside, so it takes all the cooking uh, odors and everything right to the exterior of the house, but it's a beautiful uh, custom hood. We did some custom inserts in here for cutlery. Uh, we also did some for spices. All soft clothes, so nice. Yeah, all soft clothes, hardware, solid wood drawer boxes, full extension drawers, so they open 100% of the way. Yeah, off the kitchen they did a butler's pantry. Uh, we're going to build a microwave in that particular area as well. Again, Laza countertops and quartz. And then we right across from that butler's pantry we did a nice walk-in pantry. A really good size one. Yeah, that they could use to store uh, many things. Small appliances, cereals, canned goods, everything you need. Right off the main living space is the master, I guess, right? Yes, off the main uh, part of the great room, there's a spacious master suite. We did a step ceiling in here with two layers of crown molding. We did a two-piece crown molding around the perimeter. We did a single-piece crown molding up in the step. So here you have almost an 11-foot ceiling. Lots of light again. We did a triple window that goes almost floor to ceiling with transom glass. bath we did a huge walk-in shower that has uh, his and her shower heads uh, we also have a handheld we did a beautiful niche in the wall again all custom made and then we did a custom glass frameless shower door we did porcelain tile again in this bath uh, we did 24 by 24 we did a larger format tile on the floors and then a 12 by 24 on the walls Again, we did some LED lighting under the toe kicks of the vanities. Inside the linen cabinet, we did some LED lighting and then a beautiful quartz countertop again that doesn't require ceiling and much more stain resistant. Here we're in the basement, so tell me what we're gonna see here. 
Well, we finished a part of the lower level. We did some beautiful windows again. This is what we call a daylight basement or a garden basement. Or, so at the basement's above grade, so you get some natural light again. Again, we did more wine storage with a custom built-in. We're gonna have a built-in microwave in the bar down here. And then lots of cabinetry, LED lighting again that we did on the below the cabinets. And then a quartz countertop. We also did a stone and glass backsplash here. Great for entertaining. It's long, probably could fit uh, seven or eight stools on a bar this size. So they yeah. have lots of room for entertaining. And then we did an exercise room down here. We did a uh, kind of a custom cork floor for them. So they've got something to uh, set their weights on if they set the barbells down if they're working out. And again, the daylight uh, situation to the outside. Yeah, this is um, one home that we built on the customer's property, what we call, we'll build on our land or yours. So if you're interested in a custom home project or any home project, uh, we'll be happy to sit down with you at any time and talk about designing and building your dream home.